Navajo Tacos. Another highly requested cook and one we've been dying to try for ourselves for a long time. If you want to see our take on these Navajo tacos, stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. But if this is your first time here with us, welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the cooks that we do here on the Blackstone. Especially when we're doing ones that I am super excited to do and ones that have been highly requested. And I gotta tell you, I'm so excited because the first time, and actually the last time, we ever had Navajo. You had them. Yeah, I had them. Okay, Navajo tacos. Yes. Was on a field trip. What was it fourth grade? I don't remember. We were young. We were, we, we were just but a lad. The most memorable thing from the taco was the bread that they used. Yes, that's this what we're Indian make today. fry bread. Now this is authentic Indian fry bread. I did make these up myself today. They're not pretty, but that's okay. Uh, Brett, get to the groceries and then I'll explain a little bit more about that. What are we looking at? Yeah, today? well, we're just gonna get into the basics. Now, as you can see, the Adam's dough that he has prepared right here. We're gonna be using, as the usual, 80-20 ground beef. And we're going to be preparing our own taco-like meat sauce, if you will, using meat, green chilies, kidney beans, diced tomatoes, and then a couple other things on here as well that you see. <laughs> a couple other things <laughs> on here as you see. We will be topping these the way I remember them. Brett hates black olives. I'm throwing black olives on mine. We're gonna do sour cream and cheese. Yep. So many ingredients go in and on this one. So we're super excited and, and, and you'll see it as we build it too. But we're gonna go ahead and get this. The first thing we're gonna do is get to the ground beef so we can make our little meat. I wanna say a sauce. It's almost like a chili type that we're putting on here. Sure. Now, all right, so here we go. So we're just gonna walk through the process really quick. The first thing is browning our beef like we would with tacos. We could have made our own taco seasoning, mm -hmm. but you know what? We already have this taco seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead and make it. Brett's just gonna brown the beef. Get that going. Perfect. So, uh, and we've got our ground beef here ready to go. One pound of ground beef. All right, so over here, Brett, if you'll hand me the oil. Back here, this is on low. The thing is, is all we want to do is just get things starting to warm up over here. Basically, instead of just having plain ground beef, we're going to have these red kidney beans and the, the green chilies and, and uh, these onions. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of oil in here. And just to kind of get this thing cooking here a little bit, I'm going to add some of the yellow onions. So just a little bit. We don't need a whole lot for our uh, for our one pound of meat there. I don't need to saute or anything. I just want to get these warm, get this going. They'll saute a little bit as we cook through. So we'll get the kidney beans here in just a minute, the green pepper, or the, the diced chilies and the diced tomatoes. So this is going to make a nice sauce. I just want these flavors to marry. And then when you put that ground beef in, it's going to take I'm, it to the next I, level. I, of all the cooks we've done, I've been looking forward to this one almost more than anything since we started talking about the fact that we were going to do this. Because like I said, we had this on a field trip in elementary school and it's one of those things that you think, oh, I'll have this again. And no, I haven't had it again until today. Now I had it several years. It has been a long time for me. Last time, funnily enough, I was in Utah during the 4th of July. 4th of July. If you're from Utah, you know in Provo, downtown Provo, they have a huge festival for the 4th of July, Freedom Festival, a lot of tents. And they actually had a stand where they were selling Navajo tacos. I'm like, it's been too many years. I went and had myself a Navajo taco. I've been wanting to do this Indian fry bread for a long time. Okay, now that this meat is just about all browned up, I'm gonna get the seasoning in here. This is the taco seasoning. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now that's a quarter cup of, of taco seasoning. It'd be a packet if you're using a packet. And what we found, most, it usually calls for a third cup of water. If you're cooking inside and you're gonna drain the ground beef, uh, and then you need that water back in there. But a lot of this uh, grease stays in there and then it'll start to render off. So it doesn't make it too greasy. That was my biggest takeaway, yep. was how flavorful it got, but it didn't make it too greasy. And that smells spectacular, yes, by the way. All right, so I'm gonna start adding some of these uh, other ingredients. I'm gonna get the kidney beans going in here. Now I did wash, I did uh, drain and rinse these. And then we're gonna add in our tomatoes, diced tomatoes. The, by the way, the whole recipe and ingredients for this cook will be in the description posted below this video. So don't forget to check that out, as well as uh, links to our merchandise store yep. and uh, our information about our Patreon page, of which we are so grateful to our Patreons who show us the love and support. In fact, a uh, quick shout to our Griddle Entourage. And by the way, have you given this a like yet? Yeah, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up while I'm pouring in these these uh, green chili. So Brett, yep. this is it for me. Now it's just a matter Good. of mixing and making sure everything is in here and just 
Cooking Mary stewing together, marrying these flavors. And once they are, I'll bring this over. Right, so this might start to come. This is very low heat, but after time, this is just gonna get hot enough. Uh, and maybe, I was gonna say bring the heat up, but it won't because that's gonna get this yeah, hot this enough. Is, yeah, the heat, this is, yeah, the heat, the heat from the meat is going to bring it up to temp as well. Nice, look so, at this. So yeah, so I'm just about ready, so I'm gonna kill this. Oh no, I wanted to leave this on actually for the taco. So one thing with the onions too, and this is one thing that I have found, the onions, I could have sauteed them though and kind of get those a little bit softer, but I want a little bit of that bite, Brett, and I want that flavor oh, and the crunch in that. 100. So that's why we didn't cook those for too long. And that's one thing that we've learned while cooking over time. We've really become fans of onions, but even more so, I like them different ways for different cooks. And for this one, I want that, that pop of oh, yeah. white for this yellow onion and that flavor. Yeah, so this is ready. So do you want me to turn this one off? Because you could, you uh, no, we, yeah, so turn that one burner off. This one off? No, no, this one second. Okay. So we're gonna turn the second burner off. So by the way, that was cooked on medium low, so about 35 after the hour. I'm all the way low on this one. In just a minute, we're gonna move the beef and then we're gonna bring that back up to medium, right at medium heat because we're gonna start to fry them. Griddle fry them, yep. We're gonna griddle fry these, uh, the fry bread. Yep, so whenever you're ready, man. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and let's start scooping. Yep, they're perfect. Oh, man. Ready? Yep. All right, get the rest of that in here. By the way, if we haven't mentioned this before, one of the best things you can get for griddle cooking is a twin brother. So yes. don't forget, it does help. I would highly recommend it. It really helps with these big cooks. Makes it a lot more fun, too. And you need someone to keep you in your place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, um, I, because we're not done cooking here, I'm gonna clean this side right here oh for goodness. the this, bread. This oh, smells, smells amazing. Unreal. Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, so this is right where we're gonna shallow fry. We've cleaned off this area. We call it shallow fry or griddle fry. We used to really try to build this up. And so you see, I'm gonna puddle back here in the back. So just testing my oil, it is hot enough. So we're gonna go ahead and get my first little flat piece of fry bread here. We got the of oil. Now we're using the shallow fry. Now people have talked to me all the time about getting the puddle where I want it. My, the back of my griddle isn't as hot. We've got this uh, situated in a position where it does tend to run just a little bit. And so we've actually used this method before of pulling the oil where we want it and it tends to work out. And we are gonna start to see this boil up. This is gonna thicken up quite a bit and so as soon as it's ready to go, I'll go ahead and give it a flip. Flip it do the other side. So the thing is, this dough cooks really quick. So dough. it's just a matter of watching the outside of the dough. <laughs> it's really quick it's dough. Really quick dough. And so that's really what we're watching for. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'd say flip it. Okay. Oh, look at that beautiful golden, golden brown. brown delicious. GBD is like we, we like to say. Yes. I'm going to get another one going here, Brad, if you are okay with that. Yeah, actually, Adam, I'm way okay with that. Mental note, in Florida, it gets hot and humid out here. You wanna keep these separated and refrigerated while you're cooking, because out here in Florida like this, these two stuck together, so we'll reshape those another time and Actually. maybe use them. All right, so a quick lesson learned right here, where I'm like, why is this not boiling or, or cooking as hot? I had to close my lines and re-pull re them up. It looked like we weren't getting a very high flame. That's exactly what was happening. The bread wasn't cooking, and that does happen. We see this happens from time to time. People say, hey, my propane just isn't really, it doesn't look like my griddle's getting very hot. Brett just mentioned he accidentally turned the burners on before the propane, still ran with it, and it, it won't actually run as properly. So we shut it all down, we got it back up, and guess what? It is running perfect. Right, yeah, so so anyone, anyone that's like new to griddling, or new to the Blackstone, and you're like, man, it's not coming to temperature, do not freak out and think, oh, I got a faulty piece of equipment. <laughs> uh, give that a try. Uh, yep. Turn it off, turn it back on slowly, oh, and yeah. see if that works. Yeah, and there's it, other other troubleshooting things that you can do as well. That is already super hot. We're getting there, <laughs> so these are, are going to cook you got really a good quick. good Blackstone. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing. And by the way, you can buy Indian fry bread. We could have made this simple and just bought the ones. We wanted to do this from scratch. I wanted to do this from scratch. I wanted to do this from scratch as well. And not bad for my first time, would you say? No, not at all. All right. We've, we've learned some lessons along the way, Heck that's yeah. for sure. And hopefully you've learned from our mistakes so you won't make the same mistakes. And as long as we've been griddling, we, we went back to uh, uh, griddling 101. That's right. <laughs> Turning on the propane the right way. 
So uh, this is where this folded over. So I got a little fold there. So it doesn't look pretty, but I'll bet this one's gonna taste. I think it looks pretty good. Spectacular. All right, Cannon, these last two are frying up. They're not beautiful, but uh, you know what? The other ones are ready to go. I think we are ready for some B-roll. Let's build these things and let's dig in because I can't wait to put I'm this so all together and try this. this. All right, well, there it is. It wasn't the prettiest of cooks. No. But it, you know, it looks once, pretty good though. I know, once we figured that out, I wonder if just having that heat at the right setting from the beginning would have made all the difference. It would have absolutely made a difference. Right. Yeah, 100%. Right, it would have been a lot of fun for sure. But the topping that that meat. Oh, oh my god, That being almost like our chili we were talking about. Yes. Unbelievable. I can't wait to dig in and see what it tastes like. This is amazing. But like we say, it can look amazing. This, this I think this looks absolutely amazing. He does. I'm a little bit more of a, of a perfectionist when yeah. it comes to these things. To me, it's not the prettiest cook we've ever made, I, but man, it sure does look delicious and it can smell amazing this is it smells amazing it does Absolutely. <laughs> that's it. you don't want to say anymore you should look at this really good. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing then this was all, all for not cheers i'll eat to that my, my brother, brother. Mm. <laughs> mm. oh man <laughs> honestly yeah. you know what the tech the, the texture of the bread reminds me of what? chalupa <laughs> yeah, it is like a chalupa bread. <laughs> because they sat so long in the oil, mine's a little bit harder than mm. I would I would imagine. Mm -mm. I want a little bit of crisp, but that should be a light and fluffy. So I'm being honest with my own assessment of my own cook, but mm. oh no, hold on. That bite, soft as a pillow. See, this is, I can't wait. This is, this is going, this is going to be a regular thing. That is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. The prep for this was a little bit, a little bit a lengthy. There was a lot, of course, there was a yeah. lot to get ready for this. Totally worth it. Man. Absolutely worth it. Hundred percent. I'm happy we did our own, um, our own bread. Uh, yes. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Bread on the Blackstone, <laughs> right? Bread on bread. the Blackstone. <laughs> fried bread on the Blackstone. Ended up turning out amazing. I keep looking at. It, I just want to keep. Adam, this is a banger. You like this that? This is a banger. Yeah. I'm so happy we came and did this. We absolutely love coming and doing this. We love cooking on the Blackstone, as you guys know. So thank you for coming and watching us do one that was brand new to us. We may make a few tweaks. Brett's over here going like, "This is the best thing." What are you talking about? For me. I want to make a few tweaks. People always say, Jeff, ones that don't work out. I wouldn't say that this didn't work out because it's amazing. I'd say it absolutely worked I out. I want to make a, a few tweaks to the bread is all, to my fry bread. Otherwise, this is absolutely amazing. The flavor of the bread is, is good. There's, there's, it's good bread. I, bread, bread. I didn't mean the flavor, but I just mean for me the texture. It'd be fun to make pizzas out of this. I was thinking the same thing when I was prepping the dough. Wow. Homemade pizza dough. We throw, throw it some on of here. our Italian seasonings mm -hmm. with absolutely. the Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me set that down real quick. But aside from coming to make this amazing, we, a banger of uh, a yep. Navajo taco, yep, it's you want to do it, you got to try it again. Oh. Hey. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> where that was. It's so funny. People say, oh, I can tell Brett didn't like it. He didn't snap. Sometimes when he likes it I so get much, so he lost it. Absolutely. absolutely. And this is yes. one of them. And a lot of it is because during the cook, Adam was a little discouraged. We figured out the the not the discouraged, heating problem. just like, oh, what's going on with it? Yeah, I'm sitting there. Okay, I know we always say trust the process. This gas has to work. So this was everything I had hoped that it nice. would be. And so, I would say, same for me, the bread, I'm gonna make a few tweaks to get it softer. Otherwise, perfect. The flavor is spot on. It yeah. is so good. Yep. Aside from coming to make this though, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grin along. <laughs>